What's up everyone? This is Khurram from My Gets Well and hope you're having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can record in the ProRes directly on the external SSD, which is right here. I have the Samsung T7 one terabyte shield version because it is something that if you drop, it's still going to be protected. So it's more rugged and much better and sturdier than the regular T7. So as you know that the iPhone now records directly into the external. So I wanted to build a rig something like this that i've been using this is my lumix s5 camera full frame and then it is connected to the ninja which is the external monitor and that's when i can record it in the external hard drive but here with the iphone it's just plug and play you plug the ssd and you will be able to record externally but before you do that you have to do a setting how to enable prores recording on the iphone 15 pro so i'm going to be showing you that i got the t7 one terabyte here and also I got the two terabyte and four terabyte to just see how much data it will consume when I'm recording in the ProRes. And especially when you have the hard drive connected, you just wanna connect this and let it dangle or keep hanging. So I just have built a proper rig for it like this one. So iPhone is gonna be right there in the middle and then SSD will go at the top. I'll put the link in the description for this whole cage that you can buy. It is pretty sturdy with these handles and with the stabilization, you can record good content and directly into the SSD and upload it on the internet. Now, before any delay, let me show you how you can enable the ProRes recording on your iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max. So you can go in camera from here directly. But when you go there, you go to the video section and you can see that you have the 4K 60 and the 4K 24, but you don't have ProRes option anywhere to choose from. So first you'll have to actually enable it. So in order to enable it, we're gonna go in the settings first. I'm sorry about the birds in the background. Um, they think that I'm talking with them, so they're responding back. So my apologies if you're hearing some kind of uh, background noise. So we're gonna go in the settings and go down to the camera here. And as you can see that we have 4K 60 and you have slow-mo, you have cinematic and whatnot, but we are going to be going in the formats. And in the formats, you can see we have high efficiency, most compatible. Uh, this is something that you use for 4K regular when you're internally recording. But when you're externally recording in the ProRes, you have to go down here. Don't worry about this Pro Raw. This is for the pictures. You can go up to 24 megapixels for the photo mode. And you can go in the Pro Raw where you can unlock the 48 megapixel. But right now we are talking about the video. So we're going to go in the Apple ProRes. You can see right here. You're going to have to enable this and then it will ask you which encoding you want for the ProRes. So we have the HDR, which is completed. You can record it in the HDR. It's in the 10 bit. You have the SDR that is in the 8 bit. And then you have the log, which is 10 bit, but it's flat profile. So it's not going to be doing the contrast or adding so much colors for you. It's gonna be just leaving it flat, capturing the most details possible, and then you can edit in the post. Um, so sorry about the birds in the background. More I talk, they think that I'm um, just talking with them. So I can't avoid that. My sincere apologies for you guys, but they're just there. I can't help it. It's just right next to this place. And um, let's get back to the video. So HDR is for 10 bit. You can record it. It will be the final product you will have. SDR similar way, but it's going to be 8 bit, so it's going to be SDR. You can record it in the log. That's the best you can get, but you'll have to color grade it. So we're going to keep it in the log. And if you don't know how to, you know, do the conversion alerts and you don't want to spend time on the log, you can keep it in the HDR or SDR. You will have the final product. So now once you do that, you can go back to the camera here and you will see in the video section that now you have the ProRes showing up here. So 4K 60, and then you have the ProRes. So when you enable the ProRes, you can read the message that it is not supported unless you connect the external storage. So now what I'm gonna do is, I have this Samsung T7 that I'm gonna connect with the help of the USB Type-C. So you can see that this is the USB Type-C now you can plug one end into the iPhone and one end will go in the hard drive here. I'm going to be showing you guys the setup that I have built and that is with the cage. 
But right now I'm just showing you how to enable ProRes and you can see the light turns on. And uh, here I have to press OK for this and go and try to like enable it again. Now the SSD is connected. I'm gonna go and enable the ProRes. As you can see now at the bottom, it says the USB-C, which is this Samsung SSD connected. And you can see the profile is pretty flat and that is because I'm in the ProRes log. So you can shoot your video from here and you can then put it in your MacBook and just color grade it. It is pretty good setup because you're looking at just one SSD and your phone and that's all it is. For my professional camera, I actually have to use my full frame camera right here and then use the external uh, monitor and then I can record in the SSD. But with this setup right here, I'm recording it in the USB and it's recording in the ProRes log. So this is pretty neat and um, incredible how this year Apple has done this improvement just by adopting to the USB Type-C. Now I'm gonna put the links in the description for this cage that you can buy and I'm gonna show you how it looks. It actually is gonna be much better if I'm recording, not like this because if you have your phone and the hard drive hanging like this, it is not so professional. So stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna be showing you guys how I build this cage and um, I put the link in the description if you guys wanna buy this because it comes with uh, this mounting option that you can buy from small rig separately and you can install it at the hot shoe at the top. And um, I think I cannot uh, ask for anything better than what small rig makes. They are really amazing with what they make, their quality. I have a small rig here too for my Lumix S5. So they made really sturdy and good quality products. So you can head down and I have all the links for the SSD as well in the description. So if you wanna buy anything, it's on Amazon. I'm a small YouTuber, so I make a little, um, you know, commission from the sale that you guys will be making on the Amazon. So I really appreciate that. Let me know in the comment section if you need anything and I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out. As you guys can see that I'm recording this uh, video in the log profile and you can see right here, it is the ProRes log. And uh, we have uh, 66 minutes remaining before we end up the capacity or exhaust the capacity in this T7 shield that is from the Samsung and it's connected via USB type C here that we have the option in iPhone 15 Pro to record directly in the external storage. And this has been pretty amazing, you know, like how my content creation, it's gonna take it to another level that I don't have to record internally in the phone and then do the transfer to my MacBook and edit. Now I can just go ahead and uh, do the edit easily um, by connecting the hard drive to the MacBook and just go ahead and you know start editing and getting that file to the audience so this is incredible i find that it's a subtle upgrade but it's a huge upgrade from the apple for iphone 15 pro as a pro user or the person who makes the content creation it is um, i can't even say that word i was gonna say impeccable amazing but you know what i'm saying so i'm pretty happy with how it performs and this is incredible you can see that it says USB Type-C is connected and I'm recording externally and 4K60 ProRes log and let's hit the record button here and uh, you can see the timer is running. It's recording in the log profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this video out to you guys so you guys can see how it is and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it and I'll see you in another video. Until then, peace out.